Making alcohol is traditionally considered a manly pursuit. And for much of our human history, fermented beverages were purposed more like food than a recreational frill. Beer, in fact, was kind of like liquid bread. And in many places, many times, it was safer to consume than the local water. Did you know that women were probably the ones making the ale, making the beer, right there in their homes? In Mesopotamia, women were the primary brewers. And it was probably one of the only jobs that they could get. Ancient texts of Mesopotamian law, they always referred to the tavern owners and the brewers and the feminine as she. Throughout the world, women were producing fermented beverages from whatever presented itself, from honey, from fruits, from grains, from herbs. And biologically, that makes sense because women have twice the olfactory senses that men do. It's a really necessary advantage when you're preparing food and drink for the family, the tribe, or the village. So as time went on and these producers of alcoholic beverages gained rank and notoriety and prestige, the positions were replaced by men. So you see now, we think of women in distilling and brewing and winemaking as something really exciting and new. Well, they are exciting. And it's a callback to the time when women were working really hard to bring those tasty adult beverages to the rest of the world. And remember, beer is just baby whiskey. And now you know.